Good morning. Thank you for joining me on my fourth day as a tourist in Yemen, where I'm going to show you some ideas of what to expect and what you'll see by coming here for a visit. Shukran. Our breakfast, we had a special addition to the bread and eggs, a mixture of tuna, eggs, and beans with some chili spices. And they really give it a tasty kick. I'd recommend trying it. The morning was spent walking around Tarim to see some very unique mosques, like this one dedicated to a scholar called Imam. The whole building was so incredibly detailed. I can't even imagine how much effort it took to create all this wonderful artwork. A short walk away was the site of the largest mud brick menorite in the world. I couldn't really show too much of this because... Ah, uh, we see this, so we're going to respect it. The markets here never seem to disappoint. You never know if you're going to run into goats, vegetables, or sometimes even fish. <laughs> Shukran. See how much it costs to ship some postcards to the United States. You see, they are suspended since eight years. They don't send them through. You don't mail them? No. So for eight years, no postcards? Well, we gave it a try. We are finally in the city of Seyun. I am so excited to be here. This is one of the main cities that has been pretty stable. And as of right now, the only place that has an operating international airport. But starting later, either this month or next month, Sana is going to start running international lines as well. Because again, it's a testament to how safe things are getting here in the country and how stable things are. We need to see trash. Uh, close to the houses like this, that means they are not the owners. They're just people come from out, like displaced people who came oh. from Sana'a, from North Yemen. Mm -hmm. So they live in these houses and they used to drop the garbage like that. For us, we never drop it. The people yeah. that live here. So this house is from a native, a local? Three women, they are living here. Oh, okay. Unbeknownst to me, Jamal took me to his house to meet his family and have a quick visit. What a treat to be able to go inside a local's home and see what it's like. This room. It's a guest room. Oh, that's fine. Just look at all these little trinkets in here. Well, that was a special treat. I got to go meet Jamal's family. And they were so lovely to bring me in. I met his mother and his wife and his three kids and some nieces and nephews that are all living there in a very cute little mud house. Actually, I can't say it was a little mud house. There were so many rooms and there were so many floors and it was very clean and they were very nice. So I had a good time meeting Jamal's family. It is a long drive from Seyun to Wadi Dawan, so you will get some time to stretch your legs by exploring the residential and market areas of Seyun. All that walking around can build up an appetite for lunch and give the local soda a try. You, uh, you know what? I might try the red one. Can I try the red one? Oh, that's sweet. sweet. <laughs> it's really sweet. <laughs> you can leave it. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, look at this spread. Goat, okay. What's this? Tuna and yogurt. Tuna and yogurt, okay. Tomato sauce, okay. You expect me to eat all of this? If you're like me and found this to be too much food, you can absolutely ask for child-sized portions so you don't waste foods. I ended up doing that going forward and it was still more than enough. 
Now we're visiting a cat's market. Cat is a plant that acts very much like a like a stimulant. It's a type of narcotic apparently. It can be horrifically addicting, but it's quite popular here in Yemen and I guess also in Somalia. So we're going to go around and see what we find here in the Sayun cat market. The, the best quality is there. It could reach it to approximately uh -huh. like 60 bucks. Okay. Or 40 bucks, you see there. Huh? This place is nuts. I got I got to put my camera away because my my big photograph camera because they think uh, it's going to bring bad luck out here. This is a good quality guy. So what's different between this and the other one we saw? There is another quality but they said today they did not bring that quality. So this one is the second second one. Okay. But it's also good quality. Come on. It was about this okay, point that things down. started getting tense and very uncomfortable for me. Stop touching me. Stop touching me. Stop touching me. We're going to go to a different market because a combination of them having too high prices, a crazy guy trying to throw things at me, and uh, multiple women hitting me to give them money, we're getting out of here. This is probably the first negative experience I've had in Yemen. Women's too bad. All right, we've made it to Shibam now, and we're going to hang out here for a little bit since uh, the cut market got a little crazy. And oh, look at that. There's just some random chickens crossing right over there. Saddam again. More than more Stark reminder of what can happen to these mud houses eventually. Don't you go? their hooves trims. How about a little break at the local tea shop? Yes, please. It's called what? Mezul. Mezul? Yeah. Mezul. It does seem a little insane to be drinking tea when it's 100 degrees outside. But it works here. What a great day. Well, after a rather long drive to Wadi Darum, we have finally made it here. We did get held up at one of the coalition checkpoints that took quite a while to get through. I didn't find the process to be stressful, just rather annoying because it did delay us quite a bit. But, you know, you have to try and remember these guys do have a job to do and they are, you know, emerging from a rather strenuous conflict that's gone on for several years. So we made it here and I've got to show you this uh, hotel room I've got. It starts all the way at the end of this building. Inside this walkway area. This is just the entrance, the foyer. Opens up to this humongous room, way humongous room. Got some cool artwork up there and a fireplace. I guess it gets really cold here in the winter time, but definitely not needing one now. And then we've got this mirror TV stand refrigerator, little sitting area, a couple of windows that open. There's a back door. These are really cool curtains. I like the color pattern on them. Let's take a look at the patio outside. 
and this really cool door handle here. Got table and chairs. Tomorrow morning we'll see what we've got for review out here. Moon is super bright tonight. Can't wait to see what tomorrow is going to be like. Look at this cute little guy who just ended up in my room. You have gorgeous eyes there. Yes, you do. I'm not sure what kind of little gecko you are, but you are gorgeous. Yeah, look at that coloring. I bet you do great in the desert, huh? Can't start any meal without some tea. With another cute little spoon. Here's supper. We've got more beans. We've got some tahini, cheese, and eggs. And of course, bread. So we're going to spend the next uh, day in the valley here. We're going to hopefully do some hiking tomorrow. Uh, we're going to go see some really cool mosques and some other ruins around here. And uh, I'm going to just try and enjoy as much as I can of my last couple days here in Yemen. It's coming to a close so quickly. And again, I cannot stress enough how full of surprises this place is. Most of all is that I do feel relatively safe here. So much to see here. I'm only seeing a couple of the provinces here, or excuse me, the governorates here. And there's so much more to see. There's Sana, there's Aden, there's Socotra. There's tons more to see here and other places I'm sure I'm not naming. So with that, I'll say goodnight.